Guys, welcome back to Jan's Hogwarts Legacy Adventure Part 4. Um, <laughs> Part 3 is actually already loaded on um, my YouTube channel right now. But I come to realize, and I didn't pay attention at all, that uh, I've been uploading them in 4K format. So it's taken a while for the high def processing to go through. Like, I'm talking about like a 10 hour process delay. So you can still watch it, but at the same time, it's like crappy quality because until YouTube renders and processes my high def stuff. So anyways, this video, again, still learning how to make content on YouTube. Um, I'm going to upload it at 1440 the highest, not 4K. I'm not, I'm not doing 4K and hopefully it goes a lot more smooth and the format and everything is a lot better. But anyways, back to the game. Um, we got back to Professor Fig. We found, um, another memory down in the restricted area in the library. Sebastian from the um, Slytherin house helped me get in there. He kind of got in trouble for doing so. I'm pretty sure he did. And um, if you notice, Professor Fig's not here right now is because off the screen, I actually went to do side missions and all that stuff. Learned a couple things as I went along. Um, there was a bunch of puzzles I could not figure out. And um, just, you know, learn how to get around. And I'll show you as I, I come across one and whatnot. But the door with the, with the symbol and the dice rolling thing, that literally took me almost an hour to figure out. I could not figure it out. It was to the point where I had to, like, uh, match my uh, the, the two different uh, die up and just keep rolling it over and over until I figure out a combination. And once I figured it out, well, once it confirmed my guess, I used my answer to kind of work backwards to try to figure out the puzzle. Does that make sense? I don't know. But anyways, um, so right now, um, my stud, Mr. Yan... Hufflepuff champion of the world is uh we're gonna go check out more missions. I actually don't even know what mission we're gonna be working on right now, so let's uh let's check it out. We're looking at let's see our main mission is uh are these two is a herbology class. We don't have a oh what's this? What's this mean? So uh Hecate's assignment wants me to dodge and cast Okay, so avoid okay. So I gotta avoid enemy attacks by dodging and rolling ten times. When when do I do that? When when can I do that? Is there a mission that I'm let's track this. I kinda wanna track this. Where, where where can I do it in the map? I don't think I have another fighting sequence anywhere. Can I do the world map? Let's do the world map. Oh, this is where I'm supposed to meet her. How do I how do I pronounce it? The girl from Oh my god. The girl from O Ogadu, Ogadu, I think. I think I think I'm saying that right. What's this? Lower Hawksfield. Okay. Uh, the my statue. Lower Hawksfield. What's this? Hogsmeade. Yep, yeah, I knew that Hogsmeade. This map is pretty big. Oh wow, it's real big. Oh wow, it's real big. Oh wow, it's real big. Yeah, never ending adventure with Yan guys. Oh man, this series is gonna take a long time. What's this? Look like uh, the house gave one. I should look for more. Uh, day, 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 darling. Oh wow, I can't, I can't read, guys. I'm sorry, I'm embarrassing myself. Uh, just look for more keys. All right, flying low keys. How do you, I don't know how to pronounce it? Can somebody like on the comment section just break it down for me for my dumbass? Can't read shit. English is hard, guys. Uh, so my this is my gear. Dude, I'm looking pretty pimp. Um. Okay, I'm not gonna get sidetracked. Let's go to herbology class. That's what I'm gonna do, actually. We're gonna go to the herbology class and learn whatever we need to learn. Actually, this gotta be a faster way to travel, right? I'm not gonna walk throughout the whole castle. So it's out here. So let's go down here. Uh, this is the closest. I'm gonna rock on that direction. I noticed that in between load screen, my OBS tend to hiccup a little bit, so. You know what? I'll take it. As long as the game is not hacking up, that's all I care about. Because, uh, it's my concern right there that you guys gonna miss out on a great experience because I like sitting keep up lagging. Like, uh, was it episode, episode two? As it seems. Yeah. But yeah, there's a lot of, like, oh, I see it. I see the key. Oh, here you go. I see this map. How do I get it? So I gotta follow it? Okay, I gotta follow it. 
Oh, where the fuck's going? Oh my god. 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 Those are one of those keys. Here we go. And this is this is fun too. So once you get the keys, you gotta like, time it and you gotta slap it in the middle. Like when it goes across the middle. Watch, watch, watch. Oh, damn it. You gotta like uh, time it. Unless there's an easier way to do this. I don't know if there's a tell that I'm supposed to look for. Oh, damn it. See, I. It's like. Uh, <laughs> this reaction sound. You guys ever played that arcade game where you have to like. Excellent. Yeah. So the, the light goes around in a circle, and then you want to hit the jackpot, you have to slap it in the middle. I just got a house token. Now, the house token, to explain to you guys, there is a treasure chest in the Hufflepuff uh, common room. And when you collect all the tokens, which is, I think is, what did it say it was? It was like 18 of them. If you just collect uh, 16 of them, uh, you can open this chest. So I hope it's something magical. I hope something is like uh, as part of uh, the Hufflepuff's house. Helga, Helga Hufflepuff, Hufflepuff, maybe? I don't know. Helga Hufflepuff. All right, let's go to herbology class learn how to grow weeds life seems seem kind of dull this okay here we go Ooh. okay greenhouse okay blue flame oh what's this oh all right main quest let's do this good morning professor garlic how wonderful it is to see you again lenora dear Lenora, oh, we you met earlier. Today's class. Uh, um, uh, a little treat for your auntie. Lenora was the one that she thought she would, oh, should have been a Ravenclaw. Hello, class. Please welcome the newest rose in our garden. We do look forward to growing together. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing bowl. Oh man, I bet I mess with now that. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. No. Accio. Accio. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> yes. First, let's protect our ears. <laughs> if you're familiar with the film, you guys now, know what the mandrake does. everyone, grip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug. What am I supposed to do? Oh, there you go. Just moving your mouse down. So, the more mature the roots are, the more dangerous the their scream are. Envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Repero. Shoot. I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right then. That's exactly okay. what I was explaining. Splendid work, everyone. That's it. That was the main mission. Now for our next task, we'll be planting dittany at our potting tables. You can all get started. I need to have a brief word with our new student. All right, give me a second. Is this, is this Sebastian? I should think Professor no, Garlic would be more careful with her mandrakes. Revelio. So, um, well, I was going to say something. I drew a blank. I, <laughs> this brain fart, man. It's, it's, a, it's a graveyard shift that's catching up to me. I'm going to look around real quick before uh talk to the professor. I will say I do have to get better at uh, fighting. I, I actually watched my old um, the recording of me fighting and all that stuff and it's Rebellion. quite embarrassing i definitely know for a fact that if i don't if i don't figure out and i get my shit straight 
I'm gonna get messed up later on in this game. It doesn't matter how many different spells you give me, I'm gonna get rocked. I'm gonna go this way real quick. Um, but yeah, I'm thoroughly enjoying this game. I there's not like much to complain about at the moment. Um, there's a few. Uh oh, there's like a few tedious things. But there you go. a few tedious things gotta do like this right here. I mean, like it's not bad. It's it's, it's you do it at your convenience, but. Look at that. I got one more, and then I know you guys can't see it because my webcam's blocking it. Like one more uh, field notes, and then I should get a perk for my character. And it's nice, you know, you're collecting perks like that come in handy. What am I supposed to do with this? Uh, here's my new combo. Ready? Uh. I need. I want to see how I could. Uh... Yeah, let me show you my fighting skill. So you, you put them close. One, two. Incendio. No. So you're better off setting up Incendio right when you pull them closer with Accio. So you want to go Accio, Incendio. Alright, you know what? So when you hit them with the fourth one, it's like the final hit. Alright, let's go back. I don't get too distracted. I get distracted easily. But, I'm really into this game, so. All right, all right, Professor, I'm coming. You're gonna give me extra assignment that I don't want, aren't you? Rebellion. I'm sure. I'm sure you are. I'm sure you will. Ooh, what's over here? What's this? What's this? What's this? I hippogriffs like not grass. Dear Professor Garlic, how very thoughtful of you. And remember, the strawberries are my favorite. Uh, they're as sweet as it can be. No wonder the, the muggles love them. So, uh, everything you cultivate seems to be. Seem to be of such high quality, from bitter roots to berries. I hope that my darling niece can learn this whilst under your tutelage. Tutelage? Lenora so adores you as a. Okay, so that's why. Okay. That's why she gave the thing to um, Lenora to give to her aunt. Alright, what you got, fam? Yes, Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. Um, yeah, I nearly went deaf. I'll say, I nearly went deaf. Well, yes, of course, the cry of a mature mandragora can be fatal, so remember to keep those ears protected. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting Dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the Magic Neep. Wonderful! A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. It wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. I don't even know what Let's I'm planting. See how to balance my star thistle arrangement. Like, like I, I, I don't know what a... Restorative properties oh, make it a go. vital ingredient in the Wiganweld potion, as you all should know from Professor Sharp's class. A dittany. What is a dittany? It's a um, it's medicinal herbs used in Wiganweld potion. It can be purchased. Okay. So it'll be ready in 10 minutes. Ah, oh, so... Done. Once it can be harvested, your dittany will be ready to use in Wiganweld potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Oh, yeah, I saw now, Professor Sharp earlier. Let's say we branch out, introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Be a dear, and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. Like, one thing about these games is a lot of these tasks aren't as difficult. They're very, uh... Childlike tasks, I guess you could say, but hello, they're not. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. They're not nice bad. to meet you. I'm Leander. I'll be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. 
Up these stairs will take us there. But your lead. All right. Well, I already went this way. I know where we were supposed to go. Nice work in defense against the dark arts, by the way. Yeah, no problem. Excuse me. Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. Oh. Well. Here we are. Home of the Chinese... Ch go on. Grab a few of those cabbages. Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it. And they'll do the rest. Wait, 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 wait. So... How did you toss... Okay. Hold tab. Oh, I never knew this. All right. What do you do now? Akio. There you go. Now chomping anything they can get. Potato. But mouths on. <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. That's interesting. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but... Well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. Uh, I was imagining it already. Yeah. I suppose they could prove useful outside of the greenhouse. Nothing wrong with a bit of backup, even if it is from a cabbage. It's chaos out there. Trolls in Hogsmeade and such. You can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. Dogweed and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Take your time. I'll see you back in class. Alright. Can I pick these guys back up or... or are they gonna hurt me? No, they can't hurt me. So I didn't know about this menu. This is this is good to know. We have a uh, sort of broom and oh, I can't wait to fly on a broom. I totally forgot about that. Mm. All right, nothing, nothing Rebellion. crazy. Just teaching me how I could use items. Now I have an item slot next to my radar. Well, that's good to know. More stuff that I can use. Or more stuff during battle that I forget to use. And with that helpful eh? reminder <laughs> as to why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves. I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. Uh, uh, you know what? As I am, plant offers so much. I'm going to be kind of nice, to, but I'll be honest, I don't really care too much about it. But I'm nice. Magical plants have so much to offer. <laughs> I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. Get that vibe that she's hitting on me. Alright, really five minutes. Screw that. Only I'll come back later. Alright. <laughs> let's see. Let's see. Uh, what else? What else? What else got going on? Okay, we know about that. How do we do this? This is one. Alright. This is gonna be our next mission. We're gonna meet outside the map. Outside uh, of Hogwarts. Um really no fast way to get here so I've really gotta I really gotta walk my way yeah I really I really do gotta oh shit I gotta walk on out of here so this is the best exit this is the closest yeah this is the closest yeah look like we're walking the whole way we don't have a broom yet we don't have anything else so take a little walk uh depending on what I come across I might cut to that scene to when we get there but for now uh yeah yeah we'll see we'll see how it goes if i come across something that i um like a side thing that um i wanted to show you guys i'll uh, i'll show it to you but for now we're not gonna 
Like, what's over here? Rebellion. What's this? Oh, hello. Let's go. There you go. Unbeatable Quidditch Club. All right, now I gotta want to see this. Why is it unbeatable? Is that better? It is better. Holy poop stains. Yeah, I'm wearing that. Good thing I didn't cut the scene yet, right? <laughs> All right, let's see what's out here. Yeah, there's always a uh, fun and, and interesting thing happening throughout the the um the castle. I've gotten lost many t many times already, just looking for stuff, but. I guess that's part of it, you know? You gotta enjoy that. Oh man, look at this. That's pretty. I was gonna say, I was gonna cut to the next part, but you know what? You guys are just gonna watch every bit of me walking through this while I talk to you. Oh, what's that? What's that over here? Let's see, what's this? What's this? What's this? Yeah! Now, now we have a, a, a fast travel outside. Rebellion. I'm going to meet Natty at whatever level, Lower Hogsfield. And I don't know, I don't know why she wanted me to go out there. I don't know what her, what she want from me. Here's another one. Okay, cool. Easy. Beast Classroom. Is that where, uh, Agrid is? Let's go. Well, this game take place way before that series. So I have a feeling... Yeah, we won't come across anybody we would know. Maybe Dumbledore, but even then, I—that's just me guessing. I don't know how far back this is. We'll find out. Oh, there's so many different ways, but we're going this way though. Wait, I heard something. I heard something. Rebellion. All right, never mind. I, I swear I heard like a footstep behind me. Yeah, give me all that moonstone shit. Rebellion. A lot of ingredients. I'm sure I'll learn how to craft some of those stuff later. I haven't seen Professor Sharp yet. Is he? I think he's a potion professor. I don't know if I'm going to need any of this stuff to craft potions, but I haven't done any of that yet. Like really learn how to craft any. During the next cutscene, I need to put chapstick on my lip, man. My it's cold. And uh oh what? I've been here. Oh my god, I went around in a circle. I could have lame. That's alright. We need to explore a little more, right? But yeah, like <laughs> the t I'm in South Carolina, guys, and the weather keeps drastically changing. First, it's like really warm, then it gets really cold, really dry. My lips keep breaking out. It's unreal, man. I can't, I can't keep up with the weather. How's the weather where you guys are? This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Prove dangerous? Ooh. Okay. Okay. I'm ready. I'm ready. I love how. Uh, Having a conversation with himself kind of gave me a heads up. Okay, what do you want, Natty? Why, why are you asking me to meet you out here? Oh, here we go. It is good to see you, my friend. Hello, my friend. Hello, Natty. How are you? I am well, thank you. I was there, and I saw what happened with Rookwood and Harlow at the Three Broomsticks. I have been worried about you. I'm mm. all right at the moment. If you don't mind my asking, why were they looking for you? Uh, I say I can't say. Well, I told Sebastian already. Can I tell her? I feel like the more people I tell, the more danger they can be in. But at the same time, the more people I can tell, the more they can trust me. So I have like a, a you know what? I'm going to tell her. They want something that Professor Fig and I found at Gringotts. When were you at Gringotts? Just before we came to Hogwarts. In fact, it's why I was late to the sorting ceremony. A portkey brought us there after the dragon attacked our carriage. What on earth? There's one more thing. It's a bit odd, if I'm honest. Professor Fig says I have a rare connection to a powerful form of ancient magic. I... What does that mean? I'm still learning, but I can see traces of it. And I've cast magic I can't otherwise explain. 
I know that's a lot to absorb. It is. And I will have more questions. For now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us. To all of us. Which is why I wanted to speak to you. Okay. Everyone has been talking about you defending Hogsmeade from that troll attack. And I shall never forget watching Sorona stand up to Rookwood and Harlow in the Three Broomsticks. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. How, what, so, okay. So they, they left the area. Come to Hogwarts for this. Okay, this could be dangerous. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair on their own. And you should know that Rookwood is in league with Ranrock. I had heard they were seen in Hogsmeade together. All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations. Taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow is planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen, find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. What? I Be came on your gut. I came all that way just to have that conversation. We couldn't Open have that conversation. Revelio. What's going on here? Yeah. I hear somebody yelling over there. But oh, fuck it, I'm not going in there yet. Let's see what's over here. We got ourselves a bag. Okay. Got a side mission over here. Ooh, a bunch of stuff. Oh. Archie, I don't have time to argue. I've told you repeatedly not to stray far from home, especially when I'm inside with your little sister. But you should see them, mummy. They're beautiful. These horses with wings. Rebellion. That's enough. I'm too tired for your stories today. You stay right here where I can see you. Now, why don't you do some more drawings for me? Okay. I was going to say, I, I, want, I want to know who's talking. Sorry, I was tuned into that, that dialogue. It seems like uh, uh, the mother is shedding a lot of concern about her wandering off. How did I get to that? I'm just trying to explore around. Oh, there you go. Man, I'm just getting Rebellion. stuff left and right. Rebellio really helps a lot, man. Like, you don't... Gotta underestimate. Can't underestimate that ability. Because there's a bunch of stuff I can't even see. Half the time, where is it? Right here? How do I get to that? How do I get to that? Oh, that's an interesting one. How do I get to that? Where is it? Oh, here you go. I'm confused. Rebellion. It's right there. Hmm. Another puzzle, maybe? Accio. Incendio. Levioso. All right, fuck it, whatever. Rebellion. Let's go somewhere else. Maybe if you guys figure it out, let me know. <laughs> oh, pick squirrel. What? What are you selling? Hello, sir. What do you sell here? Hello, I'm Jalal Semi, and this is my potion shop. Uh. I can answer any questions you have about the town. Uh, what do you sell? What do you have for sale? I sell only potions and their ingredients. If you can't fix it with a potion, then it's best left broken, I say. <laughs> my ingredients are all local to this area, and my potions are brewed to keep you healthy and safe. That's good to know. Who are you? Can you tell me a bit about yourself? Oh, let's see. Well, I am Lord Hogsfield's preeminent potioneer. And I was once a lowly Hogwarts student like you. In fact, I'll give you the Hogwarts discount it's the standard price. My price is a low enough already, you see. 
Uh, I'll give you a discount. Which is already the price already. Any whispers going about the town? You may have noticed we have a bit of a rivalry with Upper Hogsfield. Ooh. Not much to it, but we're still the better of the two Hogsfields. <laughs> better than most other places, too. Oh, there's a rivalry? Okay, let me see what you got. What do you have for sale? What can I help you with today? The North versus the South, fam. Um, how do I know how much uh, potion I have? I don't know. Oh, yeah, here you go. Maybe that will tell me? No, that's just gear. I can sell items. Stuff I don't need. Oh, that's extraordinary. Gosh. I hope to see you again sometime. Yeah, I'll talk to you in a bit, fam. Um, let's see. I got new glasses that I saw that were better. Yeah, it is better. Way better. Oh, man. Dude. You look ridiculous. But I'm not going to wear it because I don't, I don't want to. Because, you know, my eyes are beautiful. What is this pink swirl? Does it does does this matter any? Or it's just for is this all cosmetic? Oh that looks dope. Doing that. That matters? Oh yeah. Oh, but I like my Hufflepuff outfit though. This this looks cool, but that's Slytherin, right? Maybe. I don't know. I want this look, man. That's my jam. I gotta represent my house, you know? Alright. Uh, what else are we gonna look? Okay, okay. There's a treasure chest down there. Hmm. Seems a pleasant enough little place. How do I get in here? Oh, lockpick? Okay. okay. I never thought Ramrock's loyalists would go this far. Alright, well, that's a side mission. I'm gonna die on my own time. Focus on the main. See what all the ruckus is going on over here. They must have come this way. Think! What happened? I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. Oh. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to. Victor Rookwood, don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Ooh. Oi, speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student, you can't be sick. <laughs> Enough out of you. Mm. Leave her alone. Stupid. <laughs> Oh, you screw, bro. Let's go. Oh, wow. What's going on here? What's going on here? Oh, watch the light go out of your eyes. Oh, boy. Okay, okay, so the collectible section of your field guide has been updated with a new enemy type. You may learn valuable insights of enemies, such as their weakness and certain spells. Alright. Get over here, you fucker. Alright, no. Alright, no. Alright, no. Uh, Played the battle in a time, which I did. Yes, I did. Does that matter? What on earth just happened? I've never been accosted in such a manner. Been so close to Hogwarts. Yeah, that was not a clean fight. <laughs> I, I was, I was trash. I should have sent out my cabbage after him. Forgot about it. So what we got out of that? So I got something out of it. Nothing crazy. I gotta sell all that stuff. It was something that I got out of it. Okay, let's see what we have. We have that the token we talked about. Letters, herbs, spells. Uh, let's see the challenges. What we got so far for challenges? We got combat. Okay. Defeat ten dark wizard, and then you get. Oh, okay. That's good to know. No, no, the quest. Uh, you know what? I don't, I, don't, I don't know what's going on. Let's go back to combat. What, what else have we got down here? Oh, I completed something. So this is uh, complete five dueling feats. Okay, I gotta complete five of them. Whatever. All right. 
Revelio. Got anything in deck of steel? Ooh, what's this? What can I do with this? Accio. Levioso. Incendio. Yeah. Alright. Are you alright? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. Uh, who is Priya? You mentioned someone named Priya. Yes, my wife. She's the one who piqued my interest in Merlin, gave me a book when we were students at Hogwarts. Typical hard-working Hufflepuff, brilliant potioner, has her own shop in Nocturne Alley. Nocturne Alley. She's a traveling vendor. Here's what's going on in the Highlands before I do. Uh, research, how interesting. You're a researcher. Nora Treadwell at your service. Historian and archaeologist specializing in Merlin's work and life. Hmm, I thought Merlin was a myth. I thought that Merlin and the tales about King Arthur's court were a myth. Mere myth? <laughs> You're lucky Sir Cadogan didn't hear you. Chatters on endlessly about his connection to Merlin from his portrait at Hogwarts. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. Ah, oh, how fascinating. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. Okay. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has its symbol in the center. That started me thinking, what if... The Mallow Suite is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols. Precisely. Would you care to do the honors? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. Yeah, I'd like to know. I brought a trunk chock full of Mallow Sweet with me. It's just over there by my tent. All right, I got you. This trunk? Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. I have the Mallow Sweet. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as the stone swell on the ground. Yes. Each trial has these features. Place the Mallow Sweet on the swell. And we'll see what happens. <laughs> I'm a little concerned. It's a trial, so I'm assuming. Oh boy. My word! Did you see that? The vines disappeared. What should I do now? Hmm. This is Rebellion. uncharted territory. I am curious about these pyres. I'm supposed to solve it? Okay. Let's solve it. Oh. Oh, okay, okay, okay. What am I supposed to do? Let me, uh... Incendio. Merlin's beard! The flames make the fire sink. Did I figure it out? Did I figure it out? Today, I can hardly believe it. Revelio. So, what do I benefit from doing that? All right, let me talk to you, Dan. I take it we can call that a success? We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Hmm? 
Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swirl on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require mallow suit, which you can find in Hogsmeade should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you too, but... And do be careful out here. Now, I've got what I needed. I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. I... I really don't understand what I benefit from doing that other than completing a mission. Wow, she packed up quick. Look at her go. Wow. Oh, I miss... What did that text say? Top left. I have no idea what it said. Yeah, I, uh... Rebellion. Wait, solving this is cool, but I don't know what you benefit from it. I... I mean, maybe the journal will tell me? Not really. I gotta go to potion class. Uh... Okay, okay. So I just gotta... So in order for me to learn a new spell, the next encounter that I have, I just gotta dodge. I gotta dodge ten more times. I gotta, I gotta track it, though. Because... I didn't see any indication on the, on the on the UI that would keep count for me. So, I don't know. All right. Um we're going to go right into potion making. At least down here got some side mission. What is this? Merlin trial. There's another one. You know what? I'm going to back off from it. I I I don't understand what you benefit from doing the Merlin trial, so I feel like I don't want to spend too much, too much time on that. So let's go to um, Hogwarts map, and we're gonna go to the potion. We're gonna travel, fast travel that direction, and uh, go to the potion making classes. We're gonna be special shop. I don't know why I'm yawning. I mean, trust me, I'm not bored of this game. This game's awesome. I'm just trying to get my sleep habit back, I guess. Oh, no, no. Shoot. I gotta... I, I gotta do that in order for me to uh, track it. Alright, now we're good. Alright, downstairs. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm grateful they have this mechanic for me to follow because I, I would get lost like this little tomorrow. Someone from the ministry guarding the school after the incident in Hogsmeade. Potion! Let's potion! Can I make a love potion? <laughs> Sebastian, I see you again, bro. Uh, Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Point for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a wig and weld potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. You're not gonna tell me how to do it? I'm just okay. Oh, I had to read a book, of course. Of course. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Ah, Please okay. be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. Four clump juice. Four clump juice. Alright. Wow. <laughs> Sturdish. Shaken, not stirred. Stirred, not shaken. The name's Jan. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. 
And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Ooh, what's Professor that? Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. Well, I'm glad I don't have to, like, pick out my ingredients, because that's where I would fail. But we'll see, huh? <laughs> All right, let's go to. My parents uh, considered keeping me home from school this year after the rumors. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? Yeah, yeah, you heard correctly. He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant! You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. Pleasure to meet you. Wait. Are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But <laughs> she can't be everywhere. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single Fwooper feather. As you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission, perhaps you could grab it for me. Okay, why is this guy acting like a Slytherin? It's funny because Sebastian, uh, he's like he's like a homie, like he, he's a boy, you know, like he's backing you up. He took a he took a, the blame for you when we, we, he got caught in a restricted area. But he's a Slytherin house, but he act like you know a very honorable person. Then you get this Gryffindor who's acting like a Slytherin. Like, try to be sly and sneaky and cunning and using my um, opportunities to go into the office to his benefit. <laughs> so, I don't know. Do you guys agree? Disagree? I, I beats me. I don't think that's a good idea. I'm a huff. I don't know, player. Gareth. I don't want to get on Sharp's bad side. You won't. Fooper feathers aren't that valuable. Sharp won't even miss it. You see what I'm saying? Uh, I kind of don't want to do that. I'm a Hufflepuff, dude. Yeah, I'm a Hufflepuff. I'm not doing it. Fuck this guy. I have enough to worry about Fuck collecting the ingredients he wants me to get. I'm afraid I can't help you. I understand. I'll sort something else out. Do you understand? I can't believe you asked me to do such a thing. Keep Revelio. Oh, that's the feather. I'm not grabbing it. Need that. What else do I need? That. Ooh, I'll take that though. I'll take that. Uh, Borgen and Burks has an increased amount of activity outside the ordinary shop hour, particularly in the wee hour of the night. It's suspicious. Delivery being made to shop back entrance. Given what we know of the shop reputation, we are adding more armors to join those that have already been watching the shop. You're amongst the new addition. Further instruction below. Hello? Reading all his mail too. What else? Do I want to grab that? No, we're not grabbing it. Remember, I'm a good boy. Precision is key. Should you chop the dimly, all right. Push it. Potion unlock. Interact. So how do we eyebrows. make this? A potion that it good defense by covering him with a door. Oh, okay. Rock is good. Okay. All right. Oh, it just makes it by itself. You have me do all that motion and stuff. Mm. It's just gonna make it by itself. All right, and I'll just wait. Stand right here and wait. Simple as that. Just get the ingredients and they'll do it itself. Not sure if I have to like manually make any later on, but hey, if I learn the ingredients and I have the ingredients, I mean, if I learn the recipe and I have the ingredients, I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Why not? Pick it up. Let's go. Uh, now what? And now we add the mallow sweet, and that's uh, odd. What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. Ah! Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Dragon duck. 
Gareth. What happened? <laughs> well done, Gareth. <laughs> Damn it, Gareth. What now, Mr. Weasley? Professor Sharp must have. Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor. Yeah. Again. Again. Gryffindor. All right. I brewed an Edoras potion as you asked, Professor. Glad you managed to stay on task. Not every class is so eventful. I saw Mr. Weasley speaking with you earlier. He can be quite persuasive. Glad you managed to resist. You've done well today. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. That's it, right? Mission's complete. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. That's good to know. It seems like all the mission I've been doing so far is just kind of like introduction mission towards uh, building my skills and stuff that I can do that can benefit me oh, later on my robes are going to in my me. mission. Oh, hey, I know that. I want to follow that shit. That's a key. A portrait in our common room wants to talk to you. A portrait it's in Eldritch Diggory. He used to be the minister for magic, I think. All right, thank you, Lenora. All right, this game again. Let's go. Let's slap the shit out of it. Boom! Damn it! Man, I gotta work on my slapping skills. Huh? Uh. Kata! Slap! Smack the crap out of that. All right. Um. Guess I won't go back to the. Rebellion. To the room. The common room. I actually need to sell some stuff. Let's look at our gear real quick. Um, if there's, let's see what we got here. If there's nothing, oh, look at this. Oh snap! I'm gonna keep them on. With this being like that, I'm I could get rid of the rest of these stuff, right? Yeah, I can. This is actually, this is way better than the other gear going on. What else do I got that's new? Um, I'll get rid of the gloves. Hat wise, I'll get rid of everything. I, I don't need to keep all that stuff, you know? I gotta make space. Gear's only gonna get better, right? Right? Ah, uh, see, this is my best one. That's fancy, yo. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Again, I don't know if this makes any difference. I think it's just cosmetic for that. Alright, we're good, though. We're good, fam. Let's get out of here. Let's go back to the common room, which is quite a way of a puff common room. Where is it? Right here. Yep. Fast travel there. Let's see what uh, the portrait wants to say to me. Uh, again, everything in the yellow is the main mission. So I'm going to try to stick with that as much as I can. But while we're here, let's, I'll show you that treasure chest I was telling you about. That oh, If you continue to collect them, build up and then eventually open them. It's this one right here. So I had one already. I think I have two since we we started this video. Another house token for the house chest. Yeah, I think it's two. Yeah, that's all I have. So once it builds up, I think we're gonna be uh, should be rewarding. Hopefully something good. Be annoying if it's like just potion or just money. Be lame is actually if it's just money. Okay, Eldrake Diggory. You wanted to see me, sir. Indeed. The glasses. Allow me to introduce <laughs> myself. So few students know who I am these days. Heldridge Diggory, former minister for magic and founder of the Aura Recruitment Program at your service. I believe you can help solve a decades-old murder thanks to that book you found and, in particular, its missing pages. How do you know about the book and the pages? We portraits hear more than you might suspect and most of us can keep a secret. So, what say you? Surely a Hufflepuff such as yourself would be inclined to help seek long overdue justice. Yeah, I like that. Murder? Sound intriguing, of course. 
Um, what is it? I'm about an hour into the video. That's this could be right up my decent. street. Even we Hufflepuffs enjoy a good mystery. Glad yeah. to hear you are up to the challenge. A class, I believe you will benefit from this undertaking. My great niece, Helen Thistlewood, can provide you with details. She's retired now, but was a skilled aura in her day. And the unsolved murder of which I speak was her case. I often visit my portrait in her home, in the nearby hamlet of Upper Hogsfield. Shall I tell her to expect you? Uh, when were you minister? Sorry, I got to check my phone. When were you the minister for magic? Over a hundred years ago. 1733 to 1747, to be precise. The stories I could tell you. Oh, didn't have the chance to do all that I could. I was in the midst of reforming Azkaban when my life was cut short by dragon pox. I was sneezing sparks to the bitter end. Can you tell me more about Helen? Can you tell me more about your great niece? Cream of the crop when it comes to auras. A star pupil here, and then an exemplary servant to the ministry. And her spark hasn't diminished one bit in her retirement. She and I often chat about old cases and our glory days. No offense, but it's nice to get away from the students and converse with someone who's familiar with my legacy. Uh, how would the page help her? How could a few pages of a book help her solve an old case? A boy disappeared with those pages, but they never found the body. A girl was convicted of his murder nonetheless. It seems those pages could exonerate her somehow. My great niece can tell you more. Okay. I like this. I like this. I shall go and see her right away. Brilliant. With what I suspect is your knack for hard work and her keen mind, both mysteries may be solved sooner than you think. Okay. I shall see you there soon, I hope. That, that's good. Uh, we could get the pages for that book that we found um, down in the restricted area in the library. And on top of that, um, we could solve the mystery of this murder and maybe get the whoever got convicted of it off the hook. Wow. Way the fuck over here. Um, shortcut. We're gonna we're gonna go to Hogsmeade. That's like the shortest cut I can get to. The shortest cut. <laughs> uh, uh, English is hard, guys. <laughs> I'm making up words now. Whatever. <laughs> Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Hogsmeade is amazing. Revelio. I just saw a treasure chest over here somewhere. All right, this is it's on the map. Wait, I hear a ding. I don't know where it is. It's this right here. I'll take it. Oh, you know what? I'm here. I can sell some shit. Uh, Ollivander. Uh, we're not going that way. We're going to go this way. What's this? This right here? Is that it? Yes, this dude. You worry in fashion. Oh, so you saw that treasure chest? Second pair. I hate this. Ready? So these chests with the eye, again, took me forever. But you're supposed to sneak up on them, and then you can get it. So basically, you gotta like not get caught by the chest because the chest won't open if you're visible to them. So I'm invisible. Plenty for your perusal today. Oh, Take right. your time. To I'm selling everything. Mr. Sell. Sell. I see a, like a sell all button. Like, I don't need any stuff. I can still keep the cosmetic, right? Like the, not the cosmetic, but uh, the, the transmog for it. Look at that. I want this beanie, yo. I want to wear a beanie. That's my look, right? I'm the beanie look. Let's see if I could, uh, I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. All right. Well, first of all, I'm going to take this off because I look absolutely ridiculous. And when, for my hat, I'm going to wear... Do I get the transmog for it? Yes, I can. Yes. Do I look cool? Wow. I look very cool. Not. That's it. That's my look. <laughs> okay. Okay. No, I'm wearing this because uh, it's funny. I mean, the glasses sure are funny to too, but whenever you're about. this is close to like what I'm wearing, like right here. <laughs> All right, we're good. Let's get out of here. 
We got a long travel ahead of us. In fact, I don't even know what direction I'm supposed to go. Uh, that way. Okay. There's a. There you go. Yeah, I can't wait for us to get a room. I want to fly around. Hopefully, uh, my recording can handle it. Oh my god, I need to sneeze, guys. Ah! Okay, I'm back. Uh, wow, I went on like a sneezing for spree. <laughs> Didn't want you guys to uh, deal with that. Plus, it's loud. I'm a loud sneezer. I sneeze very loud. The audible Rebellion. for my sneeze is just like, it sounds like me screaming at you. It also goes the same way when I puke. When I puke, I don't, I don't know why we got into this conversation, but I'm a loud puker. Like, I, I scream when I puke. Whether something's coming out or not. Oh, is this a... Yo, let's go. There's people down here. I'm going to fuck some people up. Hold on a second. Loyalist warrior. Oh, shut your ass. Ah. <laughs> oh. oh, let's go. This is my chance to. This is my chance to like to like deal with all the dodging. Does Hogwarts teach you nothing? Uh, stop avoiding me. <laughs> do I get do I get my uh, objective now? Yes. Yes. All right, now you fuck. Oh, you got me. I will make you pay. Oh, I thought I could get Aki out of that. I'm mad, boss. Yo, all right, let's let's see. Let's. Drag this out longer Smoke. Ranrock has fooled you all to your demise. Cool. That was fun. All right. At least I completed that objective. Is that a chest? Nothing crazy, huh? I'm assuming this is a, an outpost for them. I'm not understanding what I benefit from fighting these guys other than completing my objective. Oh, maybe. We'll, yeah, fuck it. I don't want to get distracted. Let's go. Main mission, guys. Main mission. What's that noise? All right. But yeah, um, what was I talking about? Oh, me puking. Yeah, I'm a loud puker. Sneezer. My sneeze are a sneezer. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm making up words, guys. Maybe that is a word. I I, I don't know. <laughs> but um, hit a flaming spire to blow up. Hitting a flaming spire Rebellion. to blow up. Hit a flaming spider to blow up. To blow it up? Uh, what the fuck's a flaming spider? I don't see a spider around here. Yeah, I, I make it worse now. If I don't if I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm still tired, guys. It's uh it's about like four, four thirty, five o'clock in the evening. And I'm a, I'm tired because of my again my sleep pattern. What's over here? There's a symbol over here. What is this? What is this? Revelio. What is this? What am I supposed to do with this? Fire. Incendio. Eh? This has got to be something that I'm not... Oh, here you go. Here you go. What's this? Oh, my gosh. A uh, few witches or wizard correctly traced the history of Scotland indigenous maze back to the rightful source. The 15th century dark wizard known as Unan Blackwood, born Unan Woods to the non-magical branch of the Wood family. I'm gonna say Eon or Unan. I don't know. Fuck that. Enon was misunderstood by the Mughal parents, and in an effort to fit in, sought uh, solace in the family trade hedge trimming. He could allegedly control the back uh, blackthorn bushes with his mind, creating a beautiful design with ease. This was impressed and. Infuriated his rather intolerable family, uh, their resentment only worsened upon Young's Una, Aaron, Aaron, Eunon's invitation to Hogwarts, where he was sorted into a Hufflepuff's house. Yeah, Hufflepuff. 
Um, it was at Hogwarts that uh, Eunon first met one's Artemisia Black, disowned by the Black family for her mother, the alliance with Artemisia's muggle father, the half blooded half blood Artemisian relationship with the purity was a complex one. Wow, I, I, I really can't read. She considered herself worthy of her mother's maiden name and blamed her father for her os rat. Wow. You know what? Where's Google? Now she's joking. Um, you know what? I can't say that word. I don't know how to say it. See, this is, I'm learning how to read, guys. You guys are going to literally wo watch my YouTube just to watch me learn how to read. Austraciation? 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 Did I say that right? At the same time, she is, uh, did not uh, fault wood for the Muggle uh, parent parentage, but rather considered him to be unwilling, innocent victim of Muggle impurity. That, that was struggle. I... That probably hurt you guys a little bit. Having to listen to me read. What is this? Giant purple turtle. Come here. What is this? Oh boy. Can I keep can I keep you? Are you dead? Did I kill you? No way that I killed you. Did I kill you? I hope I didn't kill you. Oh well, you know what? You're not hurting me, so I'm not gonna I'm gonna fuck with it. Rebellion. There's a treasure chest right here. Let's get in here. Let's rob this house. That's the Hufflepuff way. Uh-huh. Okay. Alright. I really did rob there. It was money. Galleons, I think that's what we call it. This must be the place Minister Diggory mentioned. Helen lives around here somewhere. Upper Hawksfield is being terrorized by Ryan Rock's loyalists. It's okay. not right. Oh, we got a map. Let's go. Let's go. What we get? We got. We got. Uh huh. I, I think the Forbidden Forest, maybe. Uh, path, and I don't know. This is Lumos. Maybe? I don't hmm, know. A map. It doesn't appear to be connected to the missing pages. Best hang on to it for now. Yeah. Definitely not. Uh, I'm just looting for. Let's loot real quick. I keep telling myself not to get distracted, Rebellion. but I can't help it. An honest day's work. I can't help it. Let me get your shit. Let me get your shit. Oh. Yeah, I know. I know. Robbing you guys. What's that? What's in here? How'd I get in here? Oh, boy. Historically speaking, there's never been a team like this year's cannons. Nobody. Okay. All right. Nobody's pissed at me about it, so... How'd I get up there? I'm gonna get up there. Oh, oh, fuck off. Oh, no, don't fall. Rebellion. Yeah, just finding stuff left and right, man. Easy. That guy smoking? Oh, I thought he was smoking. The dude's straight up smoking. Oh! What the fuck? Oh! What? What is that? <laughs> oh, I died. Ah, oh, how the hell did that happen? All right, let's see where we at. Okay, good, 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 good. That's the last checkpoint, and I'm stuck behind here. Oh my goodness! I was like, how the hell did I just die? Rebellion. Embarrassing. Okay, so you can jump off. You can you can screw yourself over. Not again. Okay. <laughs> pumpkin fizz. Carbonated drink with the pumpkin flavor. Yeah, okay, but, but a beer. Alright. Well, I'm not gonna read too much into it. I can't believe I died. Alright. Um, it's like a place right out of a storybook. It really is. So much going on. You know what? I'll go back and collect the stuff. I don't want to get myself killed trying to look for shit. Shane Bard oh, here you go. Here you go. Magic was the answer. I reckon Rookwood's played a hand in his disappearance. 
Uh, okay. So what's her name? Helen? Ah, here you are. I'm pleased to see you took my advice. Oh, I'm falling for Helen. Madam Thistlewood, I met your great uncle in his portrait in my common room. He sent me to speak to you. I'm pleased you came. Uncle Eldritch believes the book you found and its missing pages may be relevant to an unsolved case from my time as an aura. Very well. I'm listening. Decades ago, a student named Richard Jackdaw disappeared after going to meet a girl named Anne. They never found his body. When his headless ghost appeared briefly in Hogsmeade, wholly unaware of how he died, Anne was convicted of his murder and sent to Azkaban. It was in large part due to the testimony of a girl called Apollonia Black. Jealous of Anne, I think. That sounds terrible, but I'm not sure how I can help. Anne's alibi was somewhat labyrinthine. She said Jackdaw promised her adventure following a map he found on some pages he'd stolen from Peeves. And you think Peeves ripped those pages from the book I found in the restricted section? If my great uncle is to be believed, yes. At least that's what the portraits at Hogwarts suspect. Anne insisted that Jackdaw had asked her to follow the map with him, but only after she solved a series of puzzles he'd prepared. Odd way to woo a girl. She swears she never even solved the first puzzle, so they didn't meet. Jackdaw's ghost vanished almost as soon as he appeared. Without Jackdaw's puzzle, pages, or remains, Anne was sent to Azkaban based solely on Apollonia's spurious testimony. I don't understand. What can I do to I was gonna say. I believe Anne may have solved the first puzzle by now. But after spending time in Azkaban, she's a shadow of her former self. She won't speak to anyone she doesn't trust. And she trusts no one. If you, a student with a connection to the pages, like Jackdaw had, spoke to Anne, she might reveal new information. Wait a minute. I'm supposed to go to Azkaban? I'm not sure I want to go to Azkaban. Uh, I'll come with you to Azkaban and I will save her anything to see anything to see Azkaban. Uh, I'm not sure I want to go. I'd rather not go to Azkaban. Is there no other way to help? I fear not. She cannot leave. And a student like you may provide the impetus she needs to save herself. All I would right. never suggest so drastic a measure if I did not feel it was necessary. Fortunately, being a retired aura has its benefits. We can apparate right to her. I've escorted mm -hmm. ministers, professors, and many others to that blasted place. Never a student, I'll admit, but I will keep you safe. Okay, so I don't have to, like, travel to Azkaban. She's gonna, like... Make us appear there. Okay, so what happened to Jack Jackdaw's ghost? Let's let's talk about that. You said Jackdaw's ghost appeared briefly, then vanished. Where do you think he went? I have no idea. Evidently, he was always a bit restless, going on and on about adventure. If I had to guess, he tired of Scotland and is somewhere on the other side of the globe by now. <laughs> so, it's a weird way for retirement. A ghost decides, like, you know, what, fuck it, I'm dead. I'm gonna go to. On a vacation. Can you tell me more about the prisoner, Anne? I'd like to know more about Anne. That poor soul. Never was the brightest girl. And that lack of wit proved to be her undoing. I half suspect Jack Dor and Apollonia were merely toying with her. Who could have known he'd end up dead? She's not held up well in Azkaban. In some ways, she blames me for not proving her innocence. I'd like to clear her name if we can. Apollonia. Can you tell me more about Apollonia Black? Wretched, vindictive girl, that one. Apollonia claimed that Anne threatened to kill the boy after he broke her heart. The Black family's power over certain people in the Ministry, along with the fact that Anne is Muggleborn, sealed her fate. I'm Muggleborn. Very well. Let's go. Steady yourself. We'll apparate together. Don't worry. I've never splinched anyone. Do take care now, and tread lightly in that horrible place. Oh boy, we're going to we'll Azkaban. Be there in but a moment, dude. Azkaban. Will we find serious black here? 
Again, this is before that time, so. <laughs> oh, man. What are they? The mentors? The mentors? Right? I can't remember. I better learn that spell next. That ought to keep them at bay for now. Though, be aware, you may feel a wave of despair. It will pass. Thank you for the warning. This really is a dismal place. But we'll be out of here soon enough. Now follow me. This isn't a place for loitering. I never thought I'd see the inside of Azkaban for myself. Nasty uh... dementors. Not even I could convince the Ministry to send them off. There's no need for such monsters. Azkaban. If I had my watch, I'd cast Crucio on the lot of you. You don't scare me, young cub. I teach you so little of what you should know. Ha ha ha! have a dark cloud over us. Can I go in here? No, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I'm not going anywhere. Has someone come to feed me? Me? Is someone there? I'm gonna oh, feed you. school's going to believe this. Now remember, Anne has been here a long time. The Dementors aren't kind. Have patience and speak to her quietly and respectfully. Oh, the Dementor is still chilling up there. Are you, Anne? Who's there? Who speaks to me? Is that death finally come for me? I'm a student from Hogwarts. I found the book that you said would exonerate you. Ah, the book, the book. No one would look. None of the mages found the pages. Methinks the feckless knave meandered to his cave. My fate was surely sealed in Upper Hockey Field. Um. The pages is in Upper Hog. I think I understand, yeah. Are you saying that the missing pages are in a cave near Upper Hogsfield? Hogs! Hogs! Fields! Fields! Ruins house! A vault concealed! A vault in some ruins near Upper Hogsfield. I suppose it can't hurt to look. I can't, can't hurt candy. to look. Can't <laughs> hurt to look. Go find the pages from your book. Helen! Helen! No, you're here. Come in closer. Be a dear. Oh, ho, 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 ho. What is it, Anne? Oh! <laughs> oh! 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 Oh!
All right, I really do want to. I really want to challenge them. You know what? I'm gonna pull one closer to me and burn his ass. Akio. Uh oh. Incendio. Ha ha ha! What's up, fam? Akio. Incendio. Oh, that that is that is bonus damage for sure. Akio. Incendio. What? Uh, what? Uh oh. Oh shit! <laughs> Let's go, fam. Oh! <gasps> Protego! Akio! Incendio! Levio! Oof! That was a uh, little rough. A little rough fight. I, I wasn't expecting to fall. Can I get in here? Of course it's locked. What's it? Oh, cool. We're coming across like other uh, threats for our character. That wasn't a bad fight. I I don't know how to get back. How do I get back? No way. <laughs> There's more. I want to fight more. Curiosity, young people tend to nurture. It never ends well for them, does it? Poachers. Oh, level twenty. Fuck out of here. Level twenty. Wait, what level am I? Eleven. Yeah, let's get out of here. Fucking poachers. Uh-uh. Nope. There's a lot of enemies around here. Over here. More poachers? What we'll about those guys? Oh, fuck no. I tell Let's you go. this. Hogwarts is lucky they've got protection. Uh-uh. Don't want to fight those guys. Maybe if I was level 15, I'd take a chance, but... I know how this game goes, man. Like when 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 you're um who lived here, I out out level like that, you could do a little bit of damage, but they could do a lot of damage to you the second they they sneeze on you. So at least I know it's that close. If I want some uh, confrontation and this to work intriguing. on my fighting skills, I'll go back to it. All right, once we finish this portion of the cave and try to follow up with this story, I think I'm going to end the video, but <laughs> I'm trying to keep my videos eh, under two hours. <laughs> There's so much going on, and I just I just want something for you guys to have put in the background. You can watch. You don't have to sit there and watch me entirely, but something worth like, you know, putting it out there, just following my adventure, guys. So I'm going to find this cave. <sighs> And we're gonna fuck some people up. Let's go. This must be the place Anne told me about. Mm. Lumos. All right. Revelio. No one's been here for ages. Ages? Why is there fire here? Ooh, puzzles. I like puzzles. I also like stuff, but I like puzzle. Revelio. Alright. No. No. How did you do this, Jack? Ah. Ah. Let me see how this goes. Akio. You couldn't outwit me, Jack Door. <laughs> where's the key you left? That out? was not a difficult puzzle. I just pick the one that's highlighted in blue. That's pretty much it. Akio. Revelio. How'd I open this? Akio. There you go. Yeah! Let's go. I need more stuff. What's in here? Revelio. Oh, here you go. My dearest Anne, well done. You solved my puzzle. I knew you were a kindred spirit and the only one with whom I could truly share my adventures. Meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest as soon as you can. And I will show you the map that I mentioned. There's no telling where it will lead us. I found it on the pages that P ripped off from the secret book and no one else has seems to be able to find. I haven't had any idea what lies ahead, but I'm glad to know that I shall share my future with you. This is only the beginning, Richard. P.S. I'm terribly glad you found, I'm terribly glad you found this and I would have gone alone if you did not. And 
what button would it be? A note Ooh. from Jackdaw. Anne never found it. Yeah, he never. So how did he die? Was he to blame at all? Revelio. Yeah. So yeah. So how, what happened to Jack? What happened this to Jack? Prove dangerous if I'm not careful. What happened to Jack? Oh, oh. Who the fuck? Yo, 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 yo. Could it be? Has someone solved my puzzle after all these years? Well done indeed. Richard Jackdaw, at your service. The Richard Jackdaw? I heard you disappeared years ago. You have some explaining to do. I do? That was my puzzle you solved. What are you doing here? A retired aura, Helen Thistlewood, told me about a map you stole from Peeves. And then Anne told me about a cave. You saw Anne? Broke my heart. I had to go on without her. Probably best for her in the end. Dare I ask? How is she? Not well, I'm afraid. She was imprisoned in Azkaban for your murder. I fear the Dementors have taken an irreversible toll on her. What? Azkaban? Oh, poor Anne. I had no idea. I thought she'd written me off. I've been traveling the world for years to mend my broken heart. I came back here only recently. On a whim. I must speak to the aura you mentioned and see how I can help Anne. I'm glad to hear it. Before you go, would I still be able to find the pages with the map Helen mentioned? I'm almost certain I dropped them in the cave the moment I was beheaded. They're bound to be mouldering away with the rest of me. Tell you what, meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest. And I'll show you precisely where to find them. Hmm, how do you steal it from Peeves? How is it possible to steal from Peeves? A poltergeist. I didn't steal the pages from his ghostly form. I merely found them in his wake of destruction. He has a penchant for wrecking things. Books, bottles, suits of armor. Whatever's likely to cause the most chaos. Found them on the floor outside the library where he discarded them. Not my luckiest find, all things considered. Uh, is this all Ap Apollonia fault? Helen mentioned Apollonia Black. Apollonia. Did she set up Anne to take the fall? Have you never met any members of the Black family? They can be rather vindictive. I don't know what a vindictive means. Once Anne showed means. an interest in me, Apollonia couldn't let it alone. That her own heart had grown cold simply didn't matter. <laughs> how did you lose your head? If you don't mind me asking, how did you lose your head? I was having a look about when I suddenly sensed a refreshing breeze. After which I felt, well, light-headed. That's all I remember. Hence, if you do find yourself in a cave, be prepared. I can't tell you what for specifically, but you seem a perceptive sort. Beware a light breeze. Beware of light breeze. Okay, thank you. Thank you. I need to find those pages to help a friend. I shall see you there. And this is where we're going to end this video. Prisoner of Love quest completed. All right. So um, on, on the next part, part five, we will uh, go to the Forbidden Forest. This is awesome. We come across uh, a few creatures. We saw the poachers with level 20. I'm only on level 11. But I like the fact that we're getting a little more action going on here. Um, we didn't have to spend too much time inside of Hogwarts. Um, it seems like most of the action that was happening was outside of it, of course. Because I doubt any of these poachers or uh, Rockwood's people would... Um, Rockwood? Rockwood? People would actually end up in uh, the castle. So, um, this has been a great game. I do love it. I'm enjoying it. As I mentioned earlier in the video, a lot of these puzzles and missions are not entirely difficult. They they, they tend to have that like um, I won't say childish, but like you know, like it caters to the younger crowd of puzzles and and tasks and whatnot. It's not entirely difficult. Um, again, I have this on hard difficulty. Uh, it definitely shows when I get into fights. But a lot of that is because I'm unskilled wizard. And I suck at fighting this game. I do recommend... Like... Trying to spend more time with 
casting these spells and stuff. Uh, if you have a controller, I, I, I guess casting the spell on the controller probably a lot more manageable. But I'm using mouse and keyboard. Since I'm already used to it, I'm going to stick with it. I'm not going to change it. Um, I think I'm going to take a nap. <laughs> Anyways, uh, thank you guys for joining. Uh, looking forward to playing this again. Part 3 is up. Still rendering um, that high def stuff. I'm going to start working on this real quick. Try to upload it, but I won't post it immediately. I'm going to delay the post for this one for about a day or two so that it has time to process the high def version of it. Um, the first three episodes, I posted it in 4K. I shouldn't have done it. This episode, hopefully, be 1440, the highest. So maybe it will resolve that whole high def uh, changing thing. But anyways, I'm just rambling on because I'm overtired. Um, I'll catch you guys later. Thank you so much for following my adventure with Hogwarts Legacy. Catch you guys later.